Merry Christmas. You know this is not financial advice because who would take financial advice from the variant who kept it together for those years and was able to wield the start gauntlet and snap and bring everybody back, including Natalia, with no problems at all. So, that's the advice you are receiving today on the price expectations for DeFi kingdoms in a year from now. In a year from now, my voice was drowned out by Stormbreaker. It gets a little angry when uh, Papa's sitting here and um, going speculation land. But Christmas spirit, let's have some fun. I don't do this often, so I said, hey, you know what? I'll go ahead and make some where we'll do a little bit of speculation. So basically, too long. Uh, didn't read. Today, we have $14 with a market cap of 400, 408 million. If we were to 10x that, just 10x, up to four point, I mean, um, four billion, that's $140 today. These are all rough numbers, right? So just, and that's what our current, we have a market cap of, we have a market cap, let's go to that real quick. We have a market cap of, well, circulating supply of 28 million joule. That's what's important. The max supply, total supply, and the circulating supply. Those are things we're going to be kind of putting all together to make our predictions. So we have a circulating supply of 28 million today. And if we were just to 10x that, that'd be $140 per with just 4 billion. And uh, for comparison, Axie Infinity has a circulating supply of 60 right now and a market cap of almost um, 7 billion and it's 110. So, you know, rough, rough number. So just to get close to Axie somewhat, you know, 10x from where we're at, we're at still 4 billion, still less money than an Axie and everything. So let's just say we, we do better. Let's just we bullish on it. We bullish, bullish. We do better than Axie. So what does it look like with those with that type of understanding? Well, let's also look at a little bit of what we do know of what's going to happen in the change in the tokenomics of the coin. So right here today, approximately, we got a circulating supply somewhere right here. If you can't see the screen, I'm pointing with my pointer. So um, it's a graph of the jewel supply over time showing the total, the locked and the unlocked and how they inter intersect. So here at January 1st, we're here around 30 you know, a third of the way between 100 um, million. So about, you know, right here, a third of the way. So if we project away to um, a year away from January, where would we be on this line? Now, you know, we, it's impossible to kind of draw us particularly where. So I looked at how much with the locked, so, and even throwing in when the lock throws out, how much that's going to throw everything up. The calculation I came up with is around, let's just go with like 130 million is the supply we have at that time, a year from now, from 28 to 100. So we, we go up almost uh, times, a little bit less than five, times four in our supply uh, to 130 million joule that are circulating from, you know, out of the total supply of half a, half a billion. Our market cap would have to be 19 0.5 billion to be $150 at that point. And I think we can be pretty bullish and we'll do better than Axie Infinity. Enough to double, especially going to do across different chains. We, you know, we'll see how the, how the game unfolds with the land and the implementation of equipment and, and the PVE and the PVP. I'm super bullish. I think it'll be easily do that. Probably end up being, you know, depends on your time horizon is. If you want the next week to be 19 billion, no, I don't think it's next week. But in the next by next year, could it be? Yeah. So what if we keep it close to, you know, that the, the devs come up with another plan? This is my thought. And this is where speculation land comes in. The devs come up with another plan to figure out how to get everybody to want to lock up their money again. Because remember, this is just unlock opening up. 
you know, the total supply is still um, the lock right now is is the difference and how much is um, locked and how much you know, a lot of in other words, a lot of it's being staked in the bank willfully by people not locked up um, by the by the protocol. So that's going to continue over time. So if they get us to willfully relock our money up or stake it, then the circulating supply still stays fairly low with that. If the circulating supply still stay low and just go up a little bit, say up to 38 million within a year and we go to 19 billion, we're looking at a five hundred dollar jewel approximately. Don't that sound good, everybody? Can I get a an, an amen from the congregation or a oh, just having fun? We don't know. Speculation can all go to zero. Never invest more than you can afford to lose in all of that. You know the game. If you made it, if you were even probably watching this, you probably been heard that a million times and should know this by now. So this is just playing around Christmas, having fun, you know, jumping between the different realities as a variant. That is very loud. I'm gonna <laughs> we'll say pause this until that until that stops making all that noise. But with that. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.